Hi, gardening guys, Owen and Conway. My name is Conway. Today's topic we're going to be talking about is lichens and moss. Lichens and moss are basically considered very primitive plant forms that basically will subsist not only in lawns, which most people usually will see, but also on many plants uh, that are either like trees or shrubs. And people always seem to sort of equate that because their plant is not doing that well, it's not growing as well, that when they see that on the plant, they think that it's actually doing the harmful effects to the plant. And actually, all it is basically doing is that, the, in this particular example, lichen, which is on this Japanese maple, is basically just using the plant as a means of uh, establishing uh, just a place to sort of have a home. So usually if you have plants that are, if you, if you notice in this particular example here right now, where you're, you're getting a lot of shade, uh, there's a lot of moisture, and the air circulation is not as good, you'll find that the lichens will actually will appear on your plant. They come in many different colors, different sizes, and different shapes, uh, but they usually basically just grow on the branches and on the bark, uh, where you basically will grow. Now, having said all that, you have some options. You can either choose to sort of leave it there, and some people find it very, very attractive, especially in, in our neck of the woods right now, where we're sort of a rainforest, that uh, it can actually grow in these type of things to give your plant some sort of character. Or the other option is right now, is you try to sort of remove it. Unfortunately, if you try to removing it, it, the chances are it will probably come back again, given the nature of our, our West Coast climate, which is very, very damp most of the time. They will usually come back in there. So if you're looking at trying to remove it, some people may try to carefully scrape it off the plant. Or another option is to use a chemical, like for instance, uh, something like your lime sulfur spray that people use on their fruit trees, or using some form of, let's say, moss control, uh, using uh, soap, let's say for instance, uh, like there's a product called by a Safer's Demoss, which can also be used uh, to apply onto the plant as a spray, and it will basically burn off or desiccate the actual lichen in place. But again, with you, when you're using those particular products, it has to be done when the plant is basically fairly dormant. In other words, it's sleeping. So, is there questions? One to the example of the moss in the front. Okay. Okay. So, in this particular example we have in here right now is a Japanese maple, which is probably well over 65 or 70 years old. You can see examples here right now in the exterior portion of the branches. Uh, most of the stuff that's growing on this particular branch is basically what we call moss. There is some lichen mixed in here right now for it, because as I say, lichen does come in different color forms. Uh, these ones right now tend to be a little bit more silvery. But the stuff that's basically protruding out of the branches right now are basically moss. And this stuff, as you see right now, especially for moss, it can be peeled off. In this example here right now, there's actually some lichens growing in there, which are very, very small. So they can coexist, both of them, but again, as you see, most of the stuff can be just sort of peeled off of this particular type of branch. Okay, how you remove moss? Uh, so moss can be removed either by removing it, you know, by scraping it off, if you can't scrape it off in some cases. Uh, the other option, of course, is using some sort of other uh, chemical to just try to sort of uh, burn it off. Sounds good, I have no more questions. Um... I guess okay, uh, so until we see you next time, go green.